Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Queen Gaming. It's something you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you with another Let's Play episode of Major Minor. So, y'all, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go! Alrighty. Load this file. Okay. <clears throat> Before I stepped out of the limo, I was scared. Brooke didn't exactly instill us with confidence. However, upon seeing a Akihabara, that all changed. I've looked at pictures than before, seen things online, but like with anything else, pictures don't suffice. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, y'all. My uh, my partner is playing uh, Battlefield 2042 in the background. That's funny. Well, what do you think? It's stunning. I almost don't believe it. It's prettier than I could have ever imagined. So, where's this maid cafe? I've been dreaming about this for years. Why is the audio so loud? Ah. Don't know how to... Ah. Oh, I don't know how to get to the menu. Ah, I'm gonna have to wait. Ah. Don't worry, it's not much farther, and I guess I can open up to you now. No need for secrets between the three of us. We're going to Cafe Chat. It's a popular joint around here, run by a bubbly girl named Declare. Are you serious? Are you serious, Jade? That's the one I heard about online. It's supposed to have a wait time of months. Yes, but remember who you are. Exceptions can be made here and there, especially for the prestigious Lucky 2. Trust me, I don't stop at the basics. I was able to get you a session with Eclair. That's right, the number one maid in Tokyo. You've got to be kidding me! Whoa, calm down. I think I felt the earth shake a little. I'm certainly not kidding. You know my humor is top notch. You'd be able to tell if I was joking. Hey, that's actually a good one, Jade. It wasn't intentional. By all means, lead the way. I'm trying so hard not to freak out. And not so fast, Keela. I have to go. The Rook will be taking it from here, all right? He knows this area a little better than me. I have business to attend to elsewhere. I need to get I need to get Anumi back safely as well. Sorry, I can't join you. Maybe next time. No apology necessary. And Jade retreats back into the limo and slowly drives away. It's certainly a treat. Nice middle ground. Not as spazzy as Keela. Not as insensitive as Rook. I liked her. Hopefully I get to see her again. Well, you heard her. Follow me and stay close. If I lose you here, I won't get you back. Rook starts to lead us down the street. He's staring down, focused on his tablet. To get the idea that he doesn't want to be seen. However, that tablet doesn't make him invisible. I do have to I do have to give him credit though. He's still able to lead us exactly where we, where we need to go. He can never walk and use a tablet at the same time. It takes ability to multitask so efficiently. So, what is Eclair like? I don't know. I've never been. Well, you seem to know exactly where it is. Are you sure you're not hiding anything, Rook? As I said, I've never been. It's called GPS, Keela. Think I'm chatting on here or something? Oh, sorry. Ah, when we get there, I'm not going in. I'll wait around outside until you're done. I'll watch paint dry. It'll be more fun. I wouldn't be caught dead in that place. Either way, I hope you enjoy. Yeah, you're not going into that place because they would re probably recognize you as a regular. It does take a certain level of immaturity. Hey, that's rude! Don't talk to me about rude, Keela. Especially after deciding where to go. You didn't even think to ask for my input. Whatever. Before the conversation can continue, Rook stops. He points to a colorful shop just a few steps away. It's over there! Go and have fun! Just don't drag me into your business. It don't take forever, all right? We have to go back to the motel tonight. I'll be waiting for you two over there. He points to an installation of benches nearby. You really seem to have a grudge against this place. Oh, and do me one favor, please. Don't mention my name to Eclair. I'll you big time if you do this. Wait a second. Eclair knows you? I'm leaving now. Goodbye. Yep, 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 I knew it. All right, one second, y'all. It is coffee time. Okay. Before a moment passes, Rook is gone. Almost as if he vanished into the shadows. Nothing else to do, we walk towards the building. After a pause, we enter the legendary cafe chat. When we enter, I'm shocked at how fancy it is. It seems as if millions of dollars went into this place. Oh. My. God. Well, yep, that is definitely a maid. A very colorful one. Howdy, strangers. Welcome to cafe chat. I don't know why I'm giving her a southern accent, but you know what? It's canon now. She has a southern accent, even though we're in, like, Japan or something. <laughs> oh, hey! 
we're here to see Eclair. He's nervously staring at the floor, almost like he's scared to face the maid cafe. Well, he did say this was one of his dreams. I'm sure he's just a little overwhelmed. Oh, it's you two! I've been waiting for you! It's me! I'm Eclair! Oh my gosh! I can't believe it! I thought Keela knew, about, knew all about this place. How did he not immediately recognize Eclair? Quick, come take a seat! No need to delay this any further. You two must be really special. Not many people can just walk in here. Are you celebrities of some sort? Yep, that's her backstory. She's from, like, the deep south of the United States, and she's come to Japan to be a maid. That's Eclair's story. We're going with that. That explains the accent 100% perfectly. No need for further explanation on my part. Probably better if we don't tell her. I don't want to break that NDA again. She leads us over to a three-person booth. One side has one chair, and the other is two. She takes a seat on the one on the side with one chair. This leaves Kill and myself able to sit together. She glances at us piercingly. She's trying to figure out what to do with us. Quiz time! Kill's eyes beam with happiness. Like all of his dreams are coming true at once. Let's think of something fun. Oh, I have a good question. Why are there only three chairs here? I look at Kilo in confusion. How are we supposed to know this? Time's up. Now, you learn. The number four is considered bad luck. Like the number 13 in the West. It's usually skipped when it can be. But the explanation lies in Japanese. The number four can be pronounced she. It's like the same as saying deaf. She smiles and giggles at us. After saying, she smiles and giggles at, giggles at us after saying death. I have to admire her enthusiasm in almost everything. Well, there's also another reason. From above, the booths look like cat paws. That's why we call ourselves Cafe Chat. That's French for cat. Look at you two learning. It's definitely a better, like, better, better explanation. Hope she uses that one in the future. I was worried that talking about death would scare Kila, but I look at him and he displays pure jubilation. Wow, you're so smart. But what else can you tell us? Let's move on to another question. I have so many tricks up my sleeve. Sweet, I'm ready. This girl is just so unreal. So much energy. Is she hooked up to a cafe IV or something? Let's do something a little easier. Do you have any idea what I na why I'm named Eclair? Oh, that's easy. You're really sweet. Just like the pastry you're named after. Wrong. It's because I'm really quick. Before I can even notice, plates appear on the table. Like some sort of magic trick, she really is fast. Quick, like quick like lightning. The true meaning of the word eclair. It's also French, if you're wondering. Yep. She's... Yep, she knows French, too. She winks and then points the plates before. They're layered with un unigiri or rice balls. Alright, time for a real challenge. I've been holding back this question. Final round, commence. Rook refused to come in, didn't he? What? Guess he said not to mention him, right? Typical Rook, as stubborn as ever. I know who you two are. Jade told me. So you two do know each other. He didn't even tell you that much? He seemed to hate the idea of maid cafes. He was just so suspicious. Well, that wasn't always the case. In fact, we used to be partners. Though such a time has long since passed. Whoa, that's heavy. What happened? Why did you two fall out like that? Eclair slumps down in her chair and her ears droop down. Is this what a maid cafe is supposed to be like? I thought maids were here to cater to our whims. Sorry, I'm just having some flashbacks. I haven't even heard his name in forever. Oh god, she's crying. Oh god. What, uh, Rook, what did you do to this poor girl? So I'm kind of reliving memories right now. A tear drips down her cheek. Even the call from Jade was so sudden, it totally threw off my groove. I tried to remain calm when I saw you two. But I was fighting back tears all along. I guess this all just got the better of me. Please excuse me. I have to go. Oh. She runs away without saying another word, covering her face. Second, y'all. It is coffee time. Okay. And what just happened? What did we do? I'm really clueless. Was coming here a bad idea? It seemed we just made her relive traumatic, traumatic memories. If that's the case, I feel horrible right now. Should we leave? I really don't know what to do. This isn't what I expected at all. This choice will affect the flow of the story. Oh, I'll go talk to her. I'll tell Kilo that I'll go talk to her. He should go outside and tell Rook I'll be right there. It seems like nothing today has gone as expected. I can't just leave her alone like that, crying. Alright, 
Guess that's for the best. Uh, it shouldn't, leave, it shouldn't leave either side hanging. I'll see you outside when you're done. Kilo runs outside and I quickly look around. When I look for Eclair, or look for where Eclair meant, I see a big door. It has a car is it a cartoon painting of a cat's paw print on it? I'm gonna bet that this is her office. I decide to walk over to it and I slowly enter, just hoping that I can fix what happened here today. When I enter, I see Eclair slumped over her desk. When her her head bobs up and down a little bit like she she's crying. After a few moments pass, I try to get her attention. She's still holding the tea, okay. Oh, hey there. I didn't think you'd come in. Gosh, I feel like such a fool right now. And Maze are supposed to be upbeat and happy. Has that ever happened to you before? Everything is going perfect, then bam! Something reminds you of past events. A nod. Who didn't get who, who didn't get unpleasant flashbacks? Not everybody could be happy all the time like that. It's just, we were so close. And then he left me so suddenly, almost at the snap of a finger. You know, I'm used to that. People walk out of here all the time. But I never expected it from my partner. Brooke and I were the star duo of Akihabara. He was the number one male host in Tokyo. Rook was a host? That sounds so out of character. If he told me, I would never have believed it. We spent every day together. People would call us a celebrity couple. Our reservations would be full for months. We weren't really a couple, though. We just had to play the part. I know it was for the audience, but sometimes when you act something out, it can start to feel a little real. It must sound so delusional right now. I tell her what... I tell her that she definitely isn't delusional. She just gave into she just gave into a pressure that was all too real. We acted like a perfect couple all the time. It was easy to lose yourself in a fantasy, especially when you're so happy with. But then the accident happened. Accident? I can't really say. It's his issue. But he started to act distant and rude. Needless to say, our business suffered. He found more joy in that tablet of his. Customers complained on a daily basis, and soon enough they stopped coming at all. One day Rook just didn't show up to work. I was worried he hurt himself, or worse. He's very good at making himself scarce. I searched for him day in and day out, but one day I just had no desire to. Like a light switch just flipped in my head. One second, y'all. It is coffee time. Isn't that weird? You can be so passionate about something, but in the next moment it can mean nothing. That one thing that keeps us going, it starts to hold us back in our lives. But then it becomes nothing at all. Is there a prize for the memories we hold? And after it's paid, we just forget? Well, if there is, that prize can be costly. This whole ordeal almost ruined Cafe Chat. The debts amassed as I tried to fix things. New ad campaigns, new hosts, I tried it all. I had no idea Rook put her through so much trouble. But soon enough, I had to face the facts. There was no way I was going to stay afloat, so I had to make the call. I shut our doors. But just before I locked them for good, I noticed an envelope in front of the cafe. It had my name on it, with a heart. She sniffles one last time and then shows a smile. It was a check from Rook. It had all the money I needed, and more. I'd be able to keep the cafe chat running. It came with a letter from Rook himself. It apologized for running away from me, but he told me he saved up for years. He'd been working alongside of Jade. They were supporting a, po a pop idol's career. Who was Jade, I thought? The new me? You know, that's why I'm so conflicted. I was jealous, but we were never together. I hated him for abandoning me. Yet, I thanked him for saving me. All these emotions came back today. It started with a call from Jade. You know, to organize your visit. I knew instantly which Jade it was. I saw Rook outside with the booth of, with the both of you. But I couldn't tell, but I could tell he didn't want to come in. That made everything come flooding back. I hope you understand what I, what I mean. I'm sorry for botching your visit today. I owe you the real Maid Cafe experience. I wish I knew what Rook was thinking. I assumed he just forgot me. But then, today happened. Sending the both of you to my cafe? Even today, he still thinks of me. There's so many cafes in Tokyo. Why would that be? He moved on. I guess that's something I'll never know. I doubt he'll ever set foot in here again. She takes out her phone and places it on the table. Would you mind exchanging numbers? I owe you and Kilo a real session. I apologize profusely for today. We spend the next few moments exchanging information. I don't object. Kill would want to come back, too. You got Eclair's contact information. I'll ask you to leave me be for now. But trust me, I'll be in touch. I owe, you bo I owe both of you big time. I stand up and go to leave. That was heavy, as Kilo would say. Before I can exit, she stops me for a moment. I forgot to tell you one thing. The real reason there are three seats. You know, back in the cafe, I mean. I nod. The side with two chairs? It used to be for me and Rook. 
But when he left, I was alone. I had to switch sides. No longer will we entertain each will we entertain together. I just thought you should know the truth. I guess I'm not as quick as they say. Here I am, totally stuck in the past. On memories from so many years ago. But I have to push forward and work hard. Until the toll of these memories is paid. Troll toll? On that day, I'll stand tall on my own. She smiles one last time before I exit the room. When I go back downstairs, Kilo is nowhere to be found. I assume he met up with Rook, so I go outside. Hope I don't get lost. Akihabara is massive. Would you like to save your game? Yes, please, and I'm going to end the video right there. Wow, that was a long stretch of time without saving. Anyway, y'all, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.